Within the unlocks file in the current flight for the MCC, you see a hint towards some additional customization for Halo 2 Anniversary. What is it? What does this mean? And when can we see it? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more stuff like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, the flight has come and passed for us all. Sadly, it was a fun time. Got a chance to play around some of the new maps and stuff like that. If you guys have not caught up to date with everything going on with the flights, check out my previous videos on the channel. Go into much greater detail that we'll, we'll go in this video. Because what we're gonna focus on in this video is Halo 2 Anniversary additional customization potentially coming our way. I know a lot of people within the community have been really craving some additional stuff for other games as well. I mean, we're missing out some kind of uh, customizations for Halo 4 when it comes to like the Champion Bundle. A lot of people are cross that's in that. It just seems like Halo 3 has been getting all the love just because there's so much extra customization from the failed Halo Online game that they could just basically be importing stuff over and giving us more options and stuff like that, which has been really fun. And that's what really Season 6 is going to focus on. I don't think any of this customization is going to be coming in with Season 6, but possibly with Season 7. I know a lot of people have been requesting, well, what about Halo 2 Anniversary? What about Halo 2? What about Halo Reach and all that great, all those other great games? They deserve some customization as well, and they probably influence the playlist a bit more to get people to play those games more because really Halo 3 is like the shining gem on the MCC right now where most people are playing that game I mean it was like that previously with MCC but now it's I think it's even maybe a little bit more unbalanced just because of all the extra customization coming for Halo 3 specifically so seeing that Halo 2 anniversary could begin some additional customization looks great so this is what I found in the files here so recently it was brought to my attention by someone on Twitter that there apparently it looks to be some Halo 2 anniversary visor customization coming our way. Is it coming in season six? We have no idea. I don't think so. So we had a chance to check out the season six season no pass. So it's nothing in there. So I think this might be just kind of code that's gonna be coming in maybe in season seven or later, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this file that I have opened on the screen right here manages all the unlocks that are in the game. And you can do a simple, just like word replacement with some of these phrases. I've already done this where you can unlock everything. It does not allow you to go into matchmaking or earn any seasonal points. But when you do that, but as long as you keep it to copy, you're fine. I've shown you in tutorial videos how to do this. If you do a control F to find and do H to A right here, hit search. So if one comes out with the H2 anniversary uh, nameplate, that's kind of average. But then when you go to, onto the next one, it goes into a whole section right here with like customization H2A visor color default. A customization H2A visor color visor two, three, four, and five, six. Now, we do know with Season 6 that they're coming up with different types of visor types depending on the different colorizations that you have. So this could mean that we have some different kind of like lines and um, different kind of geometry shapes that you can have on your visor, which is pretty cool. Actually kind of reminiscent of what's going to be available for us in Halo Infinite, which is pretty cool. Another thing here, if you kind of scroll down a little bit more, we have the uh, H2A visor color water wet work. H2A Visor Operator, H2A Visor Pioneer, Pathfinder, Engineer, Stalker, uh, Visor Color Rogue, and Visor Color Tracker. Now the name of these helmets might start to sound a little familiar. That's because these are helmets from Halo 4. If you guys remember that Halo 2 Anniversary runs on Halo 4's engine. So essentially what you're doing is you're playing like Halo 2, but in Halo 4's engine rather than the original Halo 2 engine. So this is something I could totally see being ported over for between the games as well. Where have you have Halo 4 content being brought into Halo 2 Anniversary to give that game some more customization, which it desperately needs. I mean, I think like what three different piece sets at, in total, which is just a little bit of a uh, underwhelming bit of customization right there. I'm glad that you can do it per piece customization like you can now, but you know, it's uh, very limited right now. So bringing in more stuff would be great. Uh, I'm, I'm in showcasing some of the screenshots right here of some of the different helmets. And yeah, like, like they're, they're very Halo 4 like helmets, not so much Halo 2. 
Um, I'm assuming then they might be able to do like the toggle option for customization like you have for Halo 3 and Halo CE, but also having it for Halo 2 Anniversary, which I'm all for getting more customization. This doesn't really bother me too much. I know some people who are more purist when it comes to their Halo games might be a little upset about this, but also that I think if you're that purist of a Halo fan when it comes to like you want the true experience it was back then, you're probably not playing Halo 2 Anniversary because it plays very different than what uh, the classic Halo 2 plays like. I feel like Halo 2 Anniversary has its own set of fans to it. I don't think a lot of people who are true like Halo 2 fans, like that's the game they love to play, don't really like to play a whole lot of Halo 2 Anniversary just because of the different gameplay mechanics that Halo 2 Anniversary offers. Though I will say it's quite weird that these helmet types are labeled under visor color. So does that mean that we'll begin like you can maybe change like the visor grade of the, your Halo 2 Anniversary Spartan to match like Stalker, Rogue, Pathfinder, Engineer and stuff like that. So just like the visor changes a little bit or is it actually like the color of it changes or is it the full-on helmet there's a lot to be asked and a lot to know about this i mean this is a developing story right now so if you guys want to see i will talk about this in future videos once we have some more information so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to keep yourselves up to date there but 343 recognizes that they can't give all the love to Halo 3 and I'm sure they also want to kind of stretch out the content a little bit with the Halo Online stuff that they can do throughout the entire year up until November where Season 10 is the last season that is going to be released currently right now for the MCC. Of course that's the same month that Halo Infinite is going to release. Again not confirmed their Halo Infinite release date but I'd be shocked if Halo Infinite does not release on November 15th in 2021. So overall, this just reassures me that I know that 343 is working towards other games out there for additional customization, because like I said earlier, that Halo 3 has been getting all the love, which obviously it's the most popular game on the MCC, so you want to probably put more effort towards that game, but these other games also deserve some love as well. I would love to see some additional customization coming for Halo Reach, maybe some new weapon skins, some visor colors and things like that as well. I mean, they were able to do it for CE pretty easily, but how can we haven't seen it for any of the other games we haven't really had much of an explanation why so hopefully with this additional customization coming for Halo 2 anniversary this may open the door for more games getting more stuff for us as well some more diverse seasons for us as well get a chance to play around with so so then we hopefully get to probably channel more people into other playlists besides just Halo 3 because obviously if you unlock something in Reach or Halo 2 anniversary or in Halo 4 well you're probably gonna want to play some Halo 4 or Halo 2 anniversary or Reach because you just unlock that stuff, you want to play with that stuff in game because that's the fun part about the, all the customization that you can do within MCC. So it does look like we will be able to get some extra customization beyond just Halo 3 because obviously it's like the low hanging fruit. It's all there, it's all made. All you gotta do is just port it over and it seems like three, that's what 343 has been doing. I've been enjoying it a lot. I like the additional customization, some of the cool lighting on some of the new armor sets I actually really enjoy. And I think it's just like some more fun customization to play around with with this, what now, almost 14 year old game. I Again, this is a developing story, so as soon as I have more content, guys, I'll be making videos about it to let you know about all the details. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, guys, or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. We got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.